In this lesson, we're going to be looking at a very neat inbuilt package in Python, and this is inside the collections package. It is a counter, and what this allows us to do is count the elements in an array with some added functionality. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and paste in the list I had from earlier, and I'll do this in here. So my list is going to have all of these letters, and usually you can create your own functionality to count them, of course, but it doesn't give us the added functionality of this counter. So if we go ahead and first create the counter because we need to create a counter and inside the counter, we need to insert the list. And as soon as we print the counter, we should get a counter with the count of each one of these elements. So there are seven A's, five D's, three B's and one C. So that was a very quick way on how we could count the elements in the array but other functions we can do, but there are also other functions we can perform such as updating the count. So if we want to update the count of E, we can go ahead and do that by typing update. And if we print the counter now, we're going to have E added to the counter and we can multiply this and we're going to have two E's added to the counter. So it's that simple to keep track of items in this counter but let's go ahead and remove the second counter. And something else we can do if we don't really care about the amount of each element is go ahead and create a list of the counter dot keys. And if we print that, we're going to see that our list contains A, B, C, D and E. And that's a lot like using the set in Python. Now, just like we updated the list, we can go ahead and remove from the list. So we can go ahead and call counter dot subtract. And here we can subtract any element we want. We can subtract A. And from seven, it's going to go to six. So if we go ahead and say print the counter, we're going to notice that A is going to drop to six. And we can do this as many times as we want. So if we run it now, we'll even go into negatives. It's going to keep track of everything, but let's remove that. And it also comes with some other methods that are really cool, such as counter dot most common. And we can decide how many elements we want to get back. And if we just want to get the first most common, we'll insert one and it's going to return to us A because it has six, which is the highest number. If we decide to insert two, we're going to get the two most counted elements. So that will be A and D. And finally, we can go ahead and get the total count of all the elements if that interests you just by typing in counter dot total. And here we have 16 in total, 16 elements in total, including the update here and the subtraction over here. But that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. Counters are really cool and very easy to use and they are built into Python. So you just have to import them from collections and you can start using them immediately in your projects.